like right now for p toil and stompins and dig and jose the race has started people all right uh it's top against top and bottom against bottom both colors are racing against each other This is going to be a good race. Let's check some statistic because, well, why not? All right. We have... Uh, I'll say 101. Uh, let's check this. No, that's not there. Eh. We have Osei 101 with a PB at seeding that is a 5541 and a new PB in the tournament to be a 4758. Wow, that's quite the improvement. And we have Cintiq. Let me find that really quickly. Cintiq with a PB of 5301. And now, if we go with Ptoil, he has a PB of 5811, and Stump has a PB of 55 minutes 22 seconds. So all of our runners are making their way out of Ceres, Cintiq being the first one out, Jose, Ptoil, and Stump being the last one out of the exploding wreckage. The P is silent like pterodactyl. It's not really silent. You still say pterodactyl. Like toil. <laughs> P toil. Okay. See, it wasn't silent. Alright. In before the baby dies, the mother brain four times in a row. Ugh. I wouldn't be that. I wouldn't want to be that baby, unfortunately. Tip Fido, uh, bang. Alright, so it is the start. We see Jose doing some very nice uh, moonwalk strategy there. Gonna make his way downstairs really quickly. Hitting them pits in the pit room. You generally want to hit zero pits, but there's always a bunch of pits that you're gonna hit. Pete oil with uh, really nice strategy there with uh, the gap. Using Samus' uh, hitbox to his advantage by grabbing all those ledges. All the runners is gonna grab that really nice morphing ball. And the first missiles. Gotta go for the missiles, people. Missiles are important. And now, gotta make the way back up. <laughs> x -Dex, throwing shade at Sefi. Always good. Gotta keep Sefi in check. First pirate room. Pit room backward. Cintiq falling in the pit of shame, unfortunate. Makes her way out. Uh, stump hitting some of the pits. Making his way out. Pit oil too. Also, actually deciding to use um, the middle climb, which is uh, pretty interesting. Uh, it is said to be a tiny bit faster if you have godlike movement, but yeah, it's pretty hard to do. All right. 
right, the climb out of the way for all the runners. Jose grabbing his bombs. Cintiq making her way to the bombs through parlor. Petoil and Cintiq being kind of close together there. Stump seemed to be having a little bit of problem with the parlor. Missing just two missiles uh, from his first farm of the bomb Torizo, but gets rid of him pretty easily there. Grabs his missiles and be on his way. Alright. Three bomb Torizo fighting in three different dimension at the same time. Pretty good fight from all our runners so far. Only stump, destroy his face. Poor Teresa, how is he gonna do in heaven without a face? First eat and grab. First blood. By Ose. He has indeed. Seems like he's going to go for a new route, I believe, with the... Uh, with that right there. Hmm. How can Mitred climb? Killing the pirates is a sign that you are probably thinking about doing the new route, uh, while damaging through them is a sign that you're gonna do the old route. With the new route, you want as much life as possible, and with the new route, you don't really care that much about uh, health. Got a farm two bucks to grab his missile. The first one giving him some health, unfortunately, but it is Super Metroid. If you get hit a uh, couple frames before grabbing the drop, it can be anything. How can Mitred crawl? Mitred turns into a ball. Seems like everyone is about or as their super missiles. Early at that. Deciding to skip on Mr. Spore Spawn, which is actually very optional boss due to tricks and the muck ball. And now it is time to grab the charge beam. Spore Spawn, funny enough, isn't seen in any category except Spore Spawn RTA, which is kind of a fun, a funny fact. To our dismay, oh my god, Sefi, what's wrong with you? Why do you like Spore Spawn? It's like the worst thing ever. Also deciding to use missiles there. Uh, quite an unusual ap approach because you need every missiles that you're gonna be using right now. Ah, seems like we're gonna get a new route people. The route that is new goes to Fantoon first. I think that's a first in this tournament. Uh, I don't think a lot of runner does the new route because of the difficulty of the new route itself. It's hard to do and it's very unforgiving. Ooh, actually making it up there at the last possible second. Someday they'll rando G4. <laughs> Someday. Someday. Alright. So we have a divergence in route. Cintiq is gonna make her way to Kraid, as will Stum and Pete Oil, while Jose is gonna make his way to Fantoon. Gonna be fighting the big ghosts with not a whole lot of stuff. But we'll 
uh, we'll only have to go up there once, well, twice, but uh, at the ending, it's pretty easy. Uh, twice instead of the three times that the other people are gonna have to take this elevator. Gonna make it hard to take uh, to see who's ahead, but yeah, it's fine. Nobody saves the animal. This is this is a speed run. You don't save animals on a speed run. So Jose is with the CWJ or the horizontal bomb jump too. CWJ is a uh, three frame uh, frame perfect jump into a three frame uh, wall jump or you can use bombs to actually propulse yourself to the other side it's actually a really hard trick but you kinda have to know how to do that trick often for the new route unfortunately there he goes with the original bomb jump really nice while I completely miss everybody killing Kraid Looks like nobody got the crate DLC. Ooh, Cintiq using a missile to open up that uh, blue door. Quite unfortunate. Alright, so all our runners, uh, our new route runners, will, will go to Fantoon, while the old route runners all are going to Upper North Fair for now. Gonna be grabbing eye jump boots, anything. Some missiles probably. And a bunch of other good stuff. Including speed booster, wave beam. That's pretty much it. Ugh. Why do you save the animal if you speedrun? This is counter contradictory. How oh, dare you. Alright. Jose doing the Fantoon fight for the new route. You, Fantoon has 2500 health. Super does normal damage to him I believe. I can't remember. I think they do double. But you can only hit him with one super. Otherwise he enrage. But that is not completely true because if you hit him at the frame he opens his eyes with a super uh, he will not enrage and keep going I think uh, I've done that once in my whole career in my whole life and I don't think a lot of people have done it a lot Alright, so that's a dead ghost. That was a pretty nice fight from Mose. Uh, in new route, if you kill the ghost without dying and your time is not under 44, it's a good run so far. Oh, Stomp uh, missed the critter and forgot to kill it beforehand, so he has to wait for it. Quite unfortunate. Uh, usually 44 and under you need a really good fantoon pattern to be able to really do something with your rune but if uh, you're over 44 the ghost is dead that's good enough all right so the grabbing of speed booster and then wave beam is gonna be the first thing Sinti, Pitoil, and Stump does, and then they are gonna make their way back and go through the step that Jose took, but with much more um, ammo and life and everything, which will make it a lot easier. But uh, they are gonna have to do some backtracking to do that, which is quite unfortunate, but it is. A fine thing, anyway. 
All right. I'll say his life is looking good. The spikes deal 60 damage without any suit. Hopefully he gets hit by only two. There we go, only two spikes. While Cintiq goes grab our wave beam. Uh, Ptoil and Stomp being really close together right now. It's almost synced. Oh, Stomp took back some time. Yes, Ose is using the new route right now. Take that, Ludor. Yeah, you gotta show those door who's boss sometimes. Gotta show them who's boss all the time, but sometimes can do it. So our bottom runners are really close together. For our top runners, we won't really see who's close together until um, I believe when Cintiq goes uh, up the elevator in Norfair. I'm not too sure when the route merges back together. I would think that G4 is when you will know, but <laughs> that's pretty far in the future. Seems like Ptoil decided to make his way back up from the bottom door uh, out of wave. That's a bit slower, but it's a, if you have problem getting up in wave room, it could be a lot easier. So now that Jose has the gravity suit, he is going to make his way into Norfair gonna grab the same thing that everybody just did with the addition of the ice beam and is going to make his way into lower Norfair directly deciding to kill Ridley second and then going for Kraid and the addition of the best beam in the game the Cephi beam everybody alright Look like Stump is deciding to take ice early. Uh, it helps a lot in Red Tower, as you're gonna see in Sydney right now. Uh, those Ripper can be frozen if you don't know or have problem with the arrow shot and the wall jumps. It could be a good idea to grab the ice beam to make it a lot easier. Uh, I would say in a race situation. It would be better to do Kraid right now, but in a PB situation, uh, doing Kraid right now slows you down, and Kraid is used as a big refill for when you want to go to Dragon. But yeah, doing Kraid right now uh, adds another E tank before going into Lower Norfair, and it's just a, a way much safer way to do the gravity jump in the acid in the lava bat seems like Cintiq is farming some power bomb and some health the cack attacks are really preemptive down there he toils making his way back up with stump having grabbed this ice beam And Ptoil's grabbed the Ice Beam too. So we're gonna have a battle of ice. And a battle of the routes. Alright, Stump makes it up there. Ose grabs his Varia suit. Which only purpose right now of the Varia suit is giving you an extra layer of protection against Mother Brain's big rainbow beam. Yeah, this race right now has no DLC, I, uh, I'm i pretty sure. Can't remember any of our runners having the DLC.
So now Osei is gonna make his way into Lower North Air. Grab his Rid Ridley kill after grabbing the speed booster and all the jazz. And then it's way up into Meridia. And right after that it is Torian. While well, Cynthia still has to kill Fantoon, grab the gravity suit, go kill the, the shrimp and then go for the dragon. Ooh, fast from from Fantude for Cintiq. She misses the shot, unfortunately. And the ghost is not being really fun, giving her a slow pattern while invisible. Very nice X Factor. No, I am not like Somatico. <laughs> Alright, grabbing another slow pattern and she gets the two round. Very nicely done for Cintiq. And we're gonna see Stump entering the wreck ship while P12 is having a little bit of problem with his spark meter. Uh, I think he said it to goop, but yeah, there we go. No more goop sparking. Stump is going to enter good old Fantatune. Well, we have Frog Champ in the chat. That is so wrong on so many levels, but okay. I'll say he's grabbing his ice beam. Uh, Stump's going to use charge ice shots, it seems. Uh, to me, that screams he's going to do. Uh, a charge I shot into probably um, an X Factor or not. Charge Ice uh, doesn't do as much damage, I would think. And I can't remember how much damage they do, so <laughs> I can't really tell how many charge ice you need to, to defeat Fentoon. I would think missiles would be a lot easier on the, the time or the amount of... Uh, ooh, we needs to be careful there. Every flame or phantom contact deals 20 damage with the various suit and he has 25 health. Uh, would be a good time to start farming some health down there. Phantom should be pretty close to dead by now. Watch out, Stump. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Okay, got a big help from that. Okay. And there he goes. Ghost is dead, didn't even need that super. And Pete Oil killing the ghost really nicely too. Around the same time as Stomp, gaining some time. This is a close race on the bottom people. And we can't really tell how close the race on the top is. Two Fantoon dying at the same time, that's what I'm talking about. A good ghost is a dead ghost, and a better ghost is a double dead ghost. Cintiq is going to grab those pesky gravities and gonna make a suit out of it. That's how it works, right? You make a suit out of the stuff. Well, both our bottom runners are gonna make their way into the step that the uh, Cintiq just took. Gonna go grab the gravities, make a suit out of it, and then gonna make their way into the Meridia. 
Oh, Stom's having a little problem with uh, his super. It is set to uh, go into walls. Could I attack the walls? The, those pesky walls, they have it coming for them. Oh, something stopped that for Pito right there. Like, that's quite unfortunate, but I mean, it's alright. And here we got it. Is he gonna get it? Nope, he does not get the spark. Can't even try to get the the North Air spark. There, we get that gravity suit, that gravity jump. You take a lot less damage with Varia on, so you have more health for Lornar Fair, which is one of the hardest uh, spot in the new route is Lornar Fair. Every enemy in Lornar Fair deals 50 damage or more, I believe, except the farming enemies, which makes this a very dangerous place without the plasma beam or anything to really damage enemy that much. And does not get the pillar spark unfortunately. Does get the, the boost out of uh, that power bomb, that's pretty nice. And he is going to enter what we should say is called the worst room of the game for a reason. Bunch of pirates on the wall. Ooh, unfortunately gets hit there. Oh, that is quite unfortunate. He does not have the beam combo to actually kill those guys really effectively. So it seems like he's gonna use supers and missiles. There we go. It's called War Room the game for a reason. Very nice jump over that pirate's head. Well, we have uh, both of our bottom runners got their gravities, made their suit. Cintiq is making her way to the snake. It is a, uh, it is a good snake. I love me this snake. All right, snack time. You want to hit him with one X factor? Uh, oh my God! What? What? Okay, Cynthia, you just want all the internet right now. I don't know what the hell that was, but that was amazing. That X Factor, that looks so swag. Like, wow. I've never seen it before, I guess because I'm an old person, but that looks so sick. I'm gonna learn that. Dead Snake is dead. Unfortunate. I love snakes. But wow, that was amazing from Cintiq actually getting everything in there. Well, Oze is going to have to kill the, pi the ninja pirate with the speed booster, which he does pretty nicely. Very nice. Yeah, that. that this is like the highlight of this race, to be honest, for me. Like, that strategy looks so... so swag. Hey, Sefi. Stop talking, please. I remember when you barely had a two-hour run. <laughs> Alright. So both of the bottom runners are making their way into the Maridia gonna be making their way to the snake and then once the snake is defeated it's gonna be shrimp time Ooh, Ose trying to get some x-factor on Ridley actually missing one of them so with uh, that beam combo I believe it is 100 shot onto Ridley as each shot deals, what, six, 300 or something, or 150 damage, I think. I I can't math. Math and me is uh, is nothing. Don't worry, Sefi. I'm just joking at you. 
Nah. I can't remember it, but Sefi had uh, the world record for the longest um, run on the tier. Alright. Both our bottom runners are with the snack. Stum is having a little bit of issue, but he is fine as long as you remain at this place. Here we got Pete Doyle attacking the snake, making it know who's boss. Whoa, Cynthia is already done with the shrimp? Okay, I missed something. That must have been a really good shrimp, right? Like, watching four races at the same time is really hard. Shrimp got wrecked. Damn, Cintiq is on a pretty good pace, I would believe. Like, that looks like a really good run so far. And the Ridley got wrecked too. We'll say actually getting some pretty good drop on his way back. Grabbing that E tank. I don't say that's a bad idea. The way out of Lore Norfair is extremely dangerous. Key hunters deal 50 damage and you have to go through the three musketeers. Which are key hunters that are really close and not a lot of uh, room between you and them. Alright. So we have all the runners doing their thing. Gonna be farming for peat oil. Stump has good ammo count if he has to go that way. So... I do believe that Osei is a bit ahead right now. Not completely sure about that. But I would like to think about that he's a little bit ahead because the only thing he has left is go to Meridia, uh, kill Dragon, and then make his way back to uh, Golden 4. While Synthix still has to go to Ridley, kill Ridley, and then come back. Alright, so Stump is fighting the shrimp. She's all red, which means she is very close to being a battered dead shrimpy. Well, that wasn't it. Let's go try again. Oh, in the belly. You don't want to hit there. Uh, you want to hit her right in the neck, the crease of the neck or the forehead. Ooh. Stump is having some trouble getting out of the shrimp right now. Did he? Oh my god, I think he got glitch? Oh my god, what? What was that? Stump died? I believe he got glitched in. That's the first time I see that, but I've heard about that, I think. Like, he got grabbed, he could actually morph ball into there. Uh, I don't recall that happening ever to me, whatsoever. Uh, well guys, uh, that's quite unfortunate for Stump. Uh, I have no clue what happened there or what caused it. But yeah, he got uh, infinite. That is quite unfortunate for Stump. But we still have a race going on. We still have a bunch of racers that still need to do it, and Pito still needs to finish this race while Stump tries to make it back. If Pito dies on this fight or doesn't save at any point, there's still a race. 
Alright. We'll say making his way to the snake. While Cintiq is making our way to the dragon. Lower route, the more swaggy route. There it is again, like, who found that set up? Who found that? Because that's just too cool. I gotta learn that. Decalled? I have no clue who that is, but I will find out. Alright, Cinti going for the chronic boost, missing it unfortunately, and oh my god, Jose got all held from those guys, that is quite unfortunate. <laughs> is that gonna be it? No it is not. Full Affy, very hard trick to pull off. Alright, Cintiq entering the good song department. Well, Ose is making his way to the shrimpy. With the amount of health he has, he's gonna be able to flatten the shrimpy pretty easily, I would believe. Cintiq grabbing the short charge, very nicely done, making her way into the worst room of the game, hitting that pirate, that's that pirate, oh it's a frozen pirate, and there we go, that's how you do worst room in the game, you just grab yourself plasma beam and you're in business. Quite unfortunate to have the shrimpy not give you the loto. Ooh! Also, you need to put your spark to not be on goop. Spark meter should be put on good sparks, not goop spark. Very nice hit there, right in the neck. Ooh, getting hit quite a bunch. That's quite unfortunate. His health is running very low. There we go, 69. Nice. Okay. That was uh, immature, but it has to be said. He's ruined it. Quite unfortunate. Trying to get the spike suit. Very nice gravity jump out. And here we go. It is going to be the start of going out of Meridia. While Cintiq is making her way to the big dragon still. Gonna be there quite shortly. And with Plasma Beam the dragon is gonna be way easier to kill. I don't know what happened to his spark, but it uh, didn't seem like it went the right way. And Pete Oil is going to be making his way directly to Lower North Fair. No need for Pesky Ice Beam since he already has it. Haha! Cintiq is fighting the pelican dragon thingy that nobody knows what it is. It just is. There we go. Kill that pelican dragon thingy. Alright. Jose making his way to Torian. Cintiq being grabbed by the dragon. Boom, explosion. Michael Bay. And we have Petal making his way into Lower North Fair right now. Oh. Something happened to Jose's stream, but we got it. It's back. 
It's not a pterodactyl. It can fly in space, which shouldn't be possible with the laws of physics. Uh, it's evil. That's all I know. It's evil and it needs to die. So pew pew into it is always a good thing to do. Alright. So, seems like Ose is in the lead with Sink Deek. A little big back. Gonna make her way to Golden Four. Yeah, Stomp got infinite by the way on. I have no clue how it happens. I'm pretty sure somebody knows, but that wouldn't be me. All right, so all our runners, well, three of our runners making their way to the end game. With Pitoa, ooh, getting hit quite a bit here. It's very dangerous. Everything does a lot of damage in Lorna Affair. You need to be a bit careful. Can't just go around getting shot everywhere. Ooh, that is very low health for Pitoa. He, I believe he's gonna go grab a Firefly tank. Because if he dies right here, it gives Stump a chance to get back into this race. Ooh, getting knocked back out. Alright, uh, Ose making his way to the Metro. It's four rooms. Uh, I believe it's four in the first room. Yeah, four in the first room. Two in the second room. Three in the third room and three in the last room. You have to kill all those Metroid and get drops. Well, enough drops to actually be able to kill Mother Rain 1. That was a very nice drop rate for the Metroid right there for Pitoel. Uh, for Ose, I am sorry. And last room, shouldn't be too hard to get three supers from the last room. There we go, perfect ammo. And there we go, we got our DLC. Crate's gone up. The crate's gone up in price. Stump needs to be a bit careful. The price of crate is dead, apparently. There we go, that's a dead crate. Getting L bomb at crate, not really good thing. That is quite unfortunate. Gonna grab his prize, which is the Varia. And Jose missing the baby skip. I don't know if he went for it, but it looks like he did if he's that far up. Dick making her way to the Golden Four. These beeping strats, they're not the best strats, so let's refill. Alright, 20 shot into the dragon, that's all you need to do. Hit him, and every time you hit him, you count until you get 20, and then you ball up, and you pray. Until he can learn grabbing strats. Ose playing it safe, using the safe station. Uh, if he dies, uh, doesn't mean that he completely has lost the game, but means that it's gonna be a very close race. Pitol having some problem with the dragon. Oof, he's getting pretty low there, and Ridley does a lot of damage.
Very nice kill on Mudderbrin 1. There we go, Ptoil has killed the dragon. He has slain the dragon, and the princess is in another castle. Cutscene for Cintiq. Big brain for Jose. Lots of shots required to kill that brain. Anything that will reduce his life to lower than 3 E tank is an instant death because of the cutscene that requires you to have 300 health, Varia and Gravity. If you don't have uh, Varia, you require six, uh, 601 health. And if you don't have any of the two, I don't know how much it takes out of you. I would believe 900 or 12. Dodging the french fries, dodging the onion ring, onion ring, ringy, and the ketchup's gonna be coming soon. There's the ketchup. Cintiq doing the grouping strat. Very nicely done. That was a close catch up there. And there we go. This is a dead brain. And the cutscene shall ensue. Yes, the meatballs. They're very spicy, you see, they explode after a bit. Uh, Mother Brain's Cantina is open from uh, 11 a.m. to. 5 p.m. in front of the hotel. <laughs> uh, he did get Firefleet tank because the salt was extremely low, unfortunately. Ooh. Getting hit a bit by those uh, pesky key hunter. As you can see, the three musketeers uh, they don't play around. I, you don't have to make a reservation, you just show up and any greasy food will go into your belly shortly, as long as you have money. It's a diner, it's not a big restaurant. And here we get the baby. What happens to the baby people? Oh, it's quite unfortunate what happens to the baby. Baby, this is sad. This is one of the saddest moments in gaming history, and one of the more fulfilling moment when the baby dies, give you the hyper beam, and then you can hear Mother Brain just scream in pain. Mm. You can't pay to get the DLC money to save the baby. That'd be really nice though. Well, you can't save the baby in a way if you glitch yourself so hard that Mother Brain... Uh, if you do the... the, the stand-up glitch... and uh, you actually sacrifice your existence for the baby. Basically, if you do this in the glitch, you can make it uh, so that she cannot hit the baby with her attacks. Which, if she can't hit it, the baby can't die, and the cutscene can't continue. So basically, you soft lock yourself. An oblivion of having to hear Mother Brain going rah, rah, just so you can save a baby Metroid. Mother Brain is not pro-choice, she's, she's pro-kill you. Cindy having a little bit of problem with uh, 
the the Zeb skip. There we go. And Jose finishing the race with an SRL time of 15 minutes and 13 seconds. Congratulations to Jose. Cintiq taking it easy here. She doesn't want a soft lock. Pitol making his way into the Torian. That was not a PB. I believe his PB right now is... Let me try to find it. His PB right now is a 47.58. Epic music for an epic brain fight. 20 shot in the brain. 20 shot in the brain. It is still a really good run. That is a dead brain for Cintiq. Hello? Hello? How are you doing, Jose? I'm pretty good. Oh, just a second. I believe we need to lower the volume on Cintiq's fight a little bit. And this should do it. Because that music is very, very. <laughs> Alright. Congratulations on winning this race. That was a really good run. Uh, yeah. I made, <laughs> a, I made a number of mistakes that I'm not that happy with. Yeah, um, making mistake in races is born to happen, but yeah, since you like, can't really reset off every mistake, it gets pretty yeah. hard. Like, I always have a problem with Fantoon and Dragon, and it happened again here. I was yeah. set up for an easy three round, and then I just mismenued past Super Missiles and had to go an extra round. And then I missed the, the eye open and had an extra invisible phase, too. Yeah, the invisible phase was not a good one, too. He literally did not want to, uh, to come really fast, right? I mean, the the race was pretty okay. Uh, missed the baby skip. I I didn't catch if you actually went for the baby skip or not. Yeah, when I jumped, I hit the ceiling. And that oh, so it. that's what. All right. So, when did you start learning the new route, or did you start just with the new route? So I started with new route. I started. Specifically with the bosses, I'd say. The Fantoon and Ridley on low E tanks. Yeah. And then learn the rooms leading up to them to learn new routes. And then just put it all together and finally start doing runs. Yeah, new route is a really dangerous and deadly uh, route. Especially for new runners. I'm surprised uh, that. I'm not surprised that you took so many uh, E-Tanks and uh, safe strategies along the run. Because Lorenorfair will deal so much damage to you. 
it doesn't really cost that much time to get the safeties compared to the all the other mistakes I was making, right? Yeah, like worst room in the game is a really dangerous room. Once you fail it once, it, you can't take it back unless you just reload the room. Yeah, normally I do reload the room, but I didn't have any power bombs this time because I missed fast pillars. Yeah. All right. So we have Cintiq finishing second place with a time of 55 minutes 18. And we still have Ptoil doing his monogram. So, good game. Good commentary. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> I'm a bit tired right now. Alright, let's see if we can get Cintiq in here. is actually finished with the brain. The brain still wants to deal much damage to him. And we get one of our last cutscenes. The baby won't have to die that much more. Dragon Lich was really something. Can't wrap my head around what would cause it. So that's the one where she doesn't let go, right? Yeah. Uh, so that happens when you're hit on the same frame that you break free. Oh. I think that's how it goes. That 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 sounds like a really bad RNG thing. Yeah. So it's a frame perfect glitch. Can't do anything about it when you're on low health. Oh yeah. Can you actually get out of it, or is it completely a complete soft lock? You can get out of it once you're at the ceiling. Oh, just once you're at the ceiling. Ouch. So a many any percent run that would not be possible, I believe. It's quite unfortunate to die from that, though. <laughs> Ouch. Alright, it's gonna be a dead brain! <laughs> Look at that brain! Look at it dead in! It's getting redder! It's, it's blushing! Uh, I don't think Stump forfeited already. Uh, already. Uh, nope, he did not forfeit so far. So the race is still going. Uh, Storm died to a glitch from uh, Dragon at the first time. And the second time it was to Fantoon. Dragon wouldn't want to let him go. She was like, he's so cute, I'm gonna hug him forever. Yeah. Alright, so Ptoy has to escape the planet before it explodes. We all know the planet exploded one hour, so he has 40 seconds to make it out. Let's go, Ptoy! Come on! Just get out! Oh! Dragon, the clingy boss. The shrimp that won't let you go. This is not going to be sub hour, unfortunately, from Ptoy. Quite a shame.
And we have the five, di five digits on the clock. And Gito finishing the race with an SRL time of one hour, zero minutes, and 13 seconds. I'm a slitherin slitter. And Stump has forfeited from the race. So that is all for these uh, races, people. Thank you for joining me into watching all these fine people, folk. These fine people race. I cannot word right now. What? Um, please do not forget to follow the runners. I don't know why it won't let me uh, do the thingy. The, ra the racer thingy to bring it up. Ah, it's exclamation point. Please do not forget to follow all of those runners and give a follow to all the Speed Gaming channel and everybody from the staff. Um, it wouldn't be possible without any of those people. Uh, but it wouldn't be possible without you either. So thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me into this race and for all these fine folk doing the races and the staff taking care of everything. Um, so it has been me, Lexa, and I'll see you guys next mission.